how about some broken Xin Zhao build? So everybody knows Xin Zhao just got buffed, and there are a few things you need to know to make this champion even more broken. And let's start with the runes. You need a sudden impact in your rune tree. Then you go for pen boots, like the boots of dynamism, and then you go for serrated dirk. With that in your pocket, you will absolutely obliterate people during the early game. And after you have your Umus Ghost Blade, you'll then go into Trinity Force. And maybe this loading screen is a little bit faster, but somebody is just choosing to keep us hostage in this screen, so you can take a good look at this Teemo called Yordle Ruler. And now we are finally in the game. Okay. Many of you, when playing jungle, there are a few options you have at hand. Number one, you can go for an invade early on after free camps. Number two, you can go for a full clear. All these options are very much valid, but in in this game, it just it it it's, it's all about the people and how they play lanes and what you can do about this. I'll start at my croc camp and then slowly clear my way towards my blue buff and then see what's happening on the way down there. Obviously, as this happens, I'll take a good look at what I can do. And then we see what goes on. For the jungle clear, always make sure to auto attack reset with your third ability, and then spread out the damage of your auto attacks to not grief yourself. I also don't use my third ability here because I want to keep it for the red buff. Sadly, the minion live with one HP, but yeah, you know how it goes. Now on level two, we skill the second ability as it deals so much damage, and we're just trying to just chill clear, looking at the map, what's going on, what can we do? Doing some good damage here. This is always a terrible transition because you deal too much damage to the red buff. You can do this a little bit better if you really try to. It's not a big deal. But yeah, clearing up the KFC, some chicken lovers in the chat, making sure to use your first ability, you get some cooldown refund, let the red buff kill the chicken. I don't know why my ta character just randomly stands still. And my Twisted Fate is absolutely beating up this Yone because yeah, he appears to have some issues here. And well, the Teemo is getting blasted by Tristana in the bottom lane and the Sona which is very weird, and then we have a double kill. How is it even possible? I don't know. And now we spot the Diana on a very interesting gank that should never work out. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go for this gank. You are suiciding, because the Arela could have also just ran, and now it's just over for you. You just dash after, and you're gone. Goodbye, and now the next one. He can't even flash away because red buff is too broken. We kill him, and now we help the, we help the Irelia clear this wave, because we want to make sure she resets fast enough. We take away the enemy honey fruit as well. Quickly check if there's a croc camp available, but we know she, dealt, uh, she did three camps into a uh, gank, so it's all fine. And here we are presented with multiple options. Um, we reset for tempo and try to fight her somewhere in the bottom side, which I don't recommend, because our mid laner is now on a reset. And... Our bot lane is not having a great time so far, and we're not even level 5, so I'll rather go for my full clear here again. And once I have my full clear, I'll have serrated Turk, boots of um, dynamism, and I'll deal 50 billion K damage. Like, the moment I have these two items, at my sudden impact, I'll one-tap them. Now, time to get my juicy armor pen, and even more juicy armor pen. And now it's time to say hello to the enemy. First off, I'll do my first round towards my croc camp, just to be sure I want to not waste time, I'll just pick it up on my way, maybe the enemy makes a mistake here, maybe they overextend, I just say quickly hello. Sona just denies me for a brief moment, but she will die, I'll just one tap her. Sona, ladies and gentlemen, absolute minion, I can just one tap her, but I can't walk into the river because the Yona and the Diana might be there. We know that, we know that for sure. So rather than getting ourselves killed for uh, a crustacean inhabitant, we just go for our jungle camps. It's that simple. Now the Yone is having his Q free, so he'll always go forward. Ah, uh, and he just killed himself. He really doesn't expect the damage or what. He really didn't expect the damage. This should have never worked, but well, sometimes you just you just have to go with the flow. And yeah, like, this champion's damage is crazy. You, you can just imagine this guy as one of the most insane damage junglers that are currently there. The only downside is he's, like, he's heavily committal. Uh, but the bright side about this champion is that his ultimate provides him with a lot of security. 
Oh no, oh no, please don't, oh, I will mess this up, don't I, oh no. Yeah, I messed this up. If, ah, uh, I maybe, I, I could have done this so much better. I could have done this so, 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 so much better. This, this was so sad. My ultimate got zero value here, like literally zero. Oh, Jinx rocket, this is unfortunate. Waiting for another longsword, very important, just, uh, because after the next play, it will um, also feature Herald. So there's no point for me of sitting on 500 gold because I won't get off another reset to complete my full item. So I just get the biggest spike possible and just get more damage. Like if, if Trinity Force featured a Ruby Crystal, I would obviously go for a Ruby Crystal, but it doesn't. Letting my team know that I want to do the Herald, playing it collected and slow, the Yone goes in with his ultimate ability on the mid lane, he just has no respect, no chill, the Twisted Fate also getting completely demolished. Now we'll get probably rotated on by the Orn from the top left, yeah, he, there he is, and the, the Diana as well, she failed her ultimate, she just pressed it for fun, we pick up the fruit, we turn the fight on them, we look for the Diana, we get onto her head, and then it's just a quick little collection here. Twisted Fate with a sliver of mana running around the corner. Sadly, we... Ah, it would have been so nice to get him. But now that Tristana makes her appearance, the entire bot lane is coming around the corner. Ah, big mistake. I, I wanted... Okay, okay, let's, let's rewind this so everyone can understand. Okay. If I auto attack her right now, and smite this instantly. She dies, I think. Yeah, she dies, and I live. Major misplay by me. But yeah, the entire family is here, but Timo, the gorilla scout is here, finishes off the Tristana, absolute slug festival here. Man, there's just no chill, is there? And we even get our phage, will we get this herald? Oh no, we didn't. You see this crazy fighting over stuff here? It's actually funny. Now I just walk mid lane to quickly take care of the Herald as well. Maybe looking for an opportunity, but I will not do Dragon. Like, uh, it's just a waste of time. Hey you! Yes, you! Can you see this? So many people are not yet Ooh, sub. Be that's honest, small. what's stopping you from subbing? Let me know in the Yikes. comments below. Like, I will not. I will only go there if there's an opportunity to get kills. Because I don't care about the dragon. Because I've, I've already been let down. So there's no point for me to play around objectives. Because I've clearly been shown that there's no point of expecting anything. So i just rather take my camps and then look for an option. And only if there's an option, I will go. Like, my mid is taking this. I'm taking... A good look at what's happening. The Sunner just used Glacial. I'm getting closer. The Diana goes too close. I'm allowed to use my ultimate. I can't take any damage here. I get the dragon. We just run them down. And no, it's just all about patience. I have to be careful to not get turned on. The Trustana walks forward forever. I don't really... I, I don't know. I don't even want to know. Now with this done, there's no point of freeway sharing the wave down there. My teammate is AFK. I'll collect the blue buff. Preferably, I'll also collect the enemy Gromp. While my Teemo is doing this uh, little pushing adventure there. If I spot the Diana walking up to me, I can just one-tap her if she gets too close. Unless the enemy is right behind her, which is very likely, so I will not do so. Now I'm briefly waiting here around the corner, waiting for the minions to die, then cross without the enemy seeing me, and go for another full clear to deny the enemy information on me. And again, like, uh, for a brief moment here, thank you again for gifting me this skin. You're a real one. This skin is beautiful. Like, just look at this. It looks so cool. And his champion's damage is so crazy. My, my, my Yinx is having some interesting things happening there, but I will not, I will not get myself, like, emotionally involved and be like, I need to save her! I need to! No. Uh-uh. I will not do so. That's a big no-no.
Looking for the Yona on the mid lane. Highly doubt we'll reach him, but I can just walk after him. There's no real danger. They turn on me. I poked, knocked them away. She flashed to now. Like, what? Look at this. L what? Look where she flies. Look. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Why is she in Narnia's Old West? What is this game? Man, you just can't make this shit up, can you? Anyways, nothing on the map to take, but a brief reset, and then we try to help our Yings. We pick up a stasis, just to be very sure that we don't just randomly die. Even though it doesn't deal a lot of damage, it's still a solid choice. Um, if you want to go for more damage, you're more than welcome to do so. It's just a pick up here, because I need to play for time. They just picked up my Crocs, which we saw on the right side, because the medium Crocs walked away. My Yings didn't steal my red buff. So there's at least that one. And now we have the enemy blue buff timer again, and so we can spend some time and chill here. Maybe somebody face checks me, maybe somebody doesn't face check me, but whoever does instantly gets popped. Sadly, the enemy uses the lovely Squire's Bloom, so they see us, but my team will deal so much damage, I get denied. But yeah, she gets too close, so I just one-tap her. I'm at the very front line, just making sure to use ultimate so I don't take another like damage for no reason. I'm low HP now, I can't really influence the fight, so I don't waste my time. I go for another camp here, quickly healing up from this camp, recuperating my cooldowns with my Q. And now looking at my team absolutely demolishing them. Now there's a big wave on the other side of the map, which I'll just quickly col uh, collect, because there's no reason for me to be mid lane, there's nothing to achieve. Already did my job by dealing damage and tanking a lot of damage by soaking enemy cooldowns, and I'll go for another wave. Sadly, with the respawn timers at hand right now, I cannot take the enemy red buff. It's too much of a risk. I really want to, but it's just not worth it. Like, I'll rather take my free camps because they're all, like, one is also respawning, and then be ready for a potential dragon fight since it's a very common point of conflict, than to die for a red buff, which is completely irrelevant. Oh yeah, and Zen Zhao has so many nice auto attack cancels that you deal so much bonus damage. Like if you dash in, like you dash in auto attack, QW, auto like it's so much damage. Like you literally tap people. And since there's nothing happening on the map, I'm just quickly farming through everything, getting my overgrowth stacks, maybe getting a crab if it's available, if it's not too much of a risk. But yeah, I'm going towards, um, what is it called? Asterix Gauge. Triforce grants me 250 health, I've run right now 310 health from Overgrowth. So I have like 560 bonus health from that one, and then I add like the Sterex health on top, which I'm close to 1000 then by the time I complete this. So I have so much extra shielding. And here we just go for the Auron, supposedly a tank, but not for us. And here we can basically trap for them. If they walk too close, we just tap them. My Jinx can do the dragon while I'm waiting for the enemy to get close, but they seem to just give up the objective. Very, very smart by them. Here I'm just giving my teammates some backup by chilling around there, walking around the corner, pressing, play, placing down my ward, instantly tapping her. Do you see the burst damage I just put onto her forehead? That's so much damage. And it immediately forces the enemy's cooldowns. But now we need to not stay here. If this goes wrong, the enemy will get Nasher, and that is something we don't want. We just we just bail. We don't even associate with this because it's a complete waste of time. What we do is we are efficient, we quickly go into our jungle, clear the camps, get some HP back, and then make sure to get our way back to the Nasher. And our alternative play would have been to instantly reset to buy the full item and then walk towards Nasher. My Twisted Fate is going for a good play, catches off the Diana. Now we have a good angle needing to wait for 3 seconds for my dash in, and once we have dash, we can just dash in and completely blast them. So much damage, we instantly one-tap the Tristana. Goodbye, AD carry. Hello, Mr. Yone. But my team will walk away being half HP for no reason. I get completely collapsed on. I don't know why my team will walk away. I have no idea. They were so dead. They were so dead. But yeah, we get a good trade. It's all fine. Yona turns. Ah, oh, we have a good stasis here. Everything is cool. And now this will be a very beautiful death stance angle. A very good one. And we'll buy one long sword and one cloth armor. The 
quickly like debating mentally is this really the best thing to do ah uh, yeah we just go for it as you always travel to place and they're not taking place immediately make sure to be efficient one tap your camps you see how fast they die you barely lose any time but you gain so much gold and put them on a reset timer. For whatever reason, the team is just forcing a play. The team who gets the catch onto the Sona, and we look into the back lane, we don't even take a look at them. We just instantly kill the AD carry because we hate AD carries. We just find that we kill them. Now we run on the Diana, making sure she's absolutely dead for no reason. Like, she just instantly does. She can't do anything. And we just walk away. Sterex Gage is too powerful here. And now we can just go for the Nasher, hoping that the Yinx comes to help us. Maybe next season the Jinx actually comes to help us. But she doesn't. Now I'm already starting the Nasher, hoping that my teammates will come to help me. My Inks is too busy hitting the enemy inhibitor. So this will actually get a little bit close for whatever reason. Just using every single spell I have to deal as much damage as possible, staying at max range, chilling, healing up a little bit, going back in to deal the finishing blow, Jinx's problems, swapping forms, and this is, it's a clencher. But hey, we got the mid lane inhibitor, the most worthless inhibitor of the game, which was free anyway. No hate, by the way. <laughs> the kill on the Yone was very good, yeah, but everything after, ah uh, yeah, we, we'd rather not talk about this. Also, a cool thing about Xin Zhao is when you clear jungle, you actively reset your cooldowns. Which is a very cool thing. Because if you if you press ult for a play and then need to go back to the jungle, you can quickly reset it or like a lot faster with your with your Q. And here, because my team is running mid lane, I'm very strong in side lane because nobody can really face me. I'm just clearing the side lane, allowing my team to play mid, and then we can we can collapse onto mid lane or other lanes using the pressure we have because we don't want to walk into them from just one lane because it's just completely pointless i, I literally want tapped house just take a look uh, they just die minus one cannon no need to walk away just be patient just empower the baron minions here and just stay max range I could potentially try and one tap her but if she's paying attention i might make myself too vulnerable for no reason and it would be cool if people would come, like rotate faster rather than just look at the enemy because it doesn't achieve anything. Oh, very interesting play happening here. Instantly blown up. We just pop our ultimate and walk away. They can't really do anything to us. So he does damage to us, but it doesn't really do anything. And we just heal up for a little bit at least. There's also something I want to try on Zinzao. It's like building Bloodthirster. And here we get the dragon gifted for us, which is also conveniently our soul. And now there, there's a big issue. I don't have my ultimate available. So this play goes wrong. Like this play cannot go right. Yeah. If I if I zone yes, this play can go right, but this way it doesn't. Like I completely griefed it. If I had my ult earlier, we just completely stomped them. Kinda sad. And this is a moment where you're like, you played well the entirety of the game, and then you do these kind of sick, like, all these little mistakes rack up to bite you in the long run. Like, they punish you so severely. Very good trap placement, but if Tristana just walked up one little bit more, she would have tapped the Yinx. But now the Teemo scout, Cobbler on the stealth, one taps the enemy AD carry. Uh, object permanence, just because you don't see doesn't mean they don't exist. And here we just debate, what item will I go for? I'll just go for the enter healing. I have so much gold in my pocket. I want the mortal reminder for more extra damage. Alternatively, I think it would have also been a very good choice to go something like Thorn Mail. I think it would have been good as well. Uh, but I'm like I I'm running a build that is supposed to one tap. Like if, if this game continues for like another five minutes, I think I should swap to like Divine Sandra, uh play to steel caps, etc. Oh, if, if if this goes a little bit different, he just dies on the spot. And here, my Teemo is making this play, and I'm just going for the Elder. I'm healing up on the Elder. And if the enemy gets too close, they just get one-tapped. 
The Diana is getting close, decently placed chompers. The Ornold comes in, no chill, deals so much damage, need to be careful. We just flash in one tap them. Now we one tap the, well, not one tap the Ornold, but he does. The Tristana jumps in in a desperate attempt to change the game. Everyone on my team is dead, but I'm alive. Now I'm gonna chase down the Sona, and she just dies. And now we just end through mid lane. We don't care about these minions, we just run it down in good old fashion. Great. As you see, this champion's damage is very interesting, but sometimes it's very difficult to reach, right? It's it's very, very difficult to reach, and therefore, this champion is not the most consistent one, but it's a very, very snowbally champion, because you can be so proactive with what you're doing, especially if you play with somebody who you know is good on the champion, and the champion he's playing into isn't really that much of a threat. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, Come back for more Scats content. Let me know what you think about... Oh, did you see the Teemo damage? She just popped off. Um, let me know your thoughts about Jin Zhao and what your current build is on this champion. And yeah, see you in the next video.